now that we've sort of reached, a, I think, a kind of tech plateau, is now finding how to make that tech work with humans. Because for me, one of the biggest things is actually connecting with people. I think tech is fantastic for getting people together. I mean, I, I've made so many new friends since social media came along. But the fascinating thing for me is how many of those have become real, real friendships as a result. So the tech has allowed me to meet people I would never have met before. But now I've met them, they've actually become great friends. And um, that, to me, is the interesting side of things. And also how tech can actually make people's lives better. We've never had so much information at our fingertips, and we've never had so much content out there. But but how you find it, I think, is the interesting thing for me because it was always the case when when the when the content was was a lot smaller, there were always certain places you knew you could go to, which would give you a lead as to where the content was. You know, whether it was the index in a book or pick up a copy of the Radio Times to see what was on the three TV channels or four TV channels. Um, that for me is, is, is the big challenge in the future, is, is actually some sort of indexing or some sort of structure so that if I know I want to know about a particular subject, how, how I find out where to go. That, that for me is the interesting thing with content. The content is brilliant. I, I love how inventive and how brilliant the content is but it, it always amazes me every day on Twitter you know the links I get saying look at this and I come across a website that's been running for five years which is utterly brilliant I didn't even know of I, I think human nature drives it but the technology makes it easy to justify it because I, I think you know when the when there was a time when you had to wait for things I mean you had to wait for things there wasn't an alternative then you just adapted your nature to cope and you became more patient and, and you waited I mean it's um, it's extraordinary now that you know everything can be on your doorstep in a second. I mean, the fact that you know people are talking about using drones to deliver packages to you now, you know, to so get them the same day. Um, yeah, the now culture, it, in some ways, it, it's a little bit damaging, I think, because it, it does make people horribly impatient, and it means that if you've got somebody who's producing something that's got a degree of quality about it that does take time to produce, um, it can lead to frustration. I mean, I, I published my last book with a, a crowdfunded publisher called Unbound, for example. And it works just like a normal publisher, except that the, the money's put up by the public subscribing to the book rather than the publisher. And the frustration people are saying is, well, you know, you've met your 100% target, where's my book? You know, and the fact that sometimes it could take a few months to reach the 100% target, because they're so used to just going into a shop, paying their money and getting their book, or ordering it online and having it delivered. And the fact they've actually got to wait for something they paid for, I, I was just amazed at how impatient some people were.